Hi, precious heart. Thank you for joining us for our weekly vlog. We are moving forward in the light, and no matter how inadequate or unprepared you may feel you are in this moment, our sisters and brothers who have recently joined us from our Grand Central Sun want all of us to know that we are ready to co-create the next step of our ascension process. They are standing in readiness to assist us in powerful ways beyond anything we have ever contemplated. Your I Am Presence has magnetized this information into your sphere of awareness because of who you are and why you are on Earth at this time. The information that is the beings of light are sharing with us today is something we are all very aware of on a higher level of consciousness. The divine intent of today's vlog is to remind us of this truth because the time for you and I and the rest of awakening humanity to fulfill our purpose and reason for being on earth is now. We have been told that the awesome shifts that were co-created in 2023 paved the way for lightworkers to be able to co-create miracles in 2024. Unfortunately, due to the painful things that are being pushed to the surface in the outer world to be healed and transmuted back into light, many lightworkers are feeling disheartened and erroneously believing that their efforts to assist in Mother Earth's ascension process have been in vain. Because of the unprecedented events being co-created on Earth at this time through the unified efforts of awakening humanity and the company of heaven, we have been told from on high that the greatest privilege and honor for any son and daughter of God is physical embodiment on planet Earth during this cosmic moment. The beings of light want all of us to remember this truth because they are very aware of how difficult the challenges are that humanity is facing on a daily basis. We all know we all knew it was going to be like this when we volunteered to embody on Earth. We chose to come in spite of how daunting or difficult our experience might be. We knew that during our many lifetimes we had developed all of the skill, knowledge, strength, willingness, and courage necessary to succeed in this monumental mission. Prior to this embodiment, we were shown the divine potential of our heart-based light work and the incredible fifth dimensional new earth we were being called to co-create with the assistance of the company of heaven. When we were shown this glorious vision, we determined that if we could succeed in co-creating this facet of Mother Earth's and humanity's divine plan, no matter what we had to endure in the process, would be well worth our efforts. Now, as a word of encouragement, we are being reminded that for every person who was granted permission to embody on Earth, at this time, there were millions more who were turned away. That is not because we are better than our sisters and brothers. It is because our Father, Mother, God, and the company of heaven felt that with the tenacity and courage we demonstrated in our past lives, we had a better chance of awakening and staying focused on the light in face of the adversity we were destined to encounter during Mother Earth's essential purging process. 
Humanity is responsible for our human miscreations. So the only way we can co-create the new earth is if the sons and daughters of God, embodied on earth, make the free will choice to transmute our human miscreations back into light. In order to do that, our grossly mutated miscreations must be pushed to the surface. To accomplish that, light workers have to open our hearts and reclaim the path of divine love that our Father Mother God originally intended for us to experience in this earthly schoolroom. Lifetime after lifetime, between embodiments, our I Am Presence and the Company of Heaven evaluate our progress and our karmic liabilities. Together, we come up with a plan that we feel will be most effective in moving us forward in the light during our next embodiment. Part of that plan is always to help us learn our lessons and to clear up as many of our past mistakes as possible. We sometimes choose to be born into some very challenging situations in order to fulfill that part of our mission quickly. However, once we begin to experience the dense physical plane of Earth without any conscious knowledge as to why we would have ever volunteered to experience such difficult situations, we become overwhelmed, which only makes things worse. When that happens, we usually end up creating more karmic liabilities. Fortunately, our I Am Presence never gives up on us. Every difficult experience we endure actually strengthens our resolve and prepares us to stand our ground in the face of adversity. That difficult training has prepared us for the mission we volunteered to accomplish during this lifetime. That mission includes holding the sacred space for humanity's and Earth's ascension by staying focused on the light, no matter how horrific outer world events appear to be. Our sisters and brothers from our Grand Central Sun are reminding us today that we have been preparing for lifetimes for this moment on planet Earth and that we already have everything we need within us to succeed. That is true in spite of the fact that we may feel overwhelmed or hopeless or inadequate or powerless to accomplish the magnitude of our mission. We are powerful beyond our knowing, and our I Am Presence is standing in readiness, awaiting the opportunity to reveal to us the next step of our divine plan. Mother Earth and the sons beyond sons in Earth's lineage have ascended into the full embrace of our grand central sun. This has opened the floodgates of heaven to patterns of perfection from the causal body of God and wonders beyond our ability to comprehend with our finite minds. Our I Am Presence is the only one who can accurately reveal what our individual purpose is and what we personally have volunteered to accomplish in this lifetime. That means that we all need to center ourselves every day and ask our I Am Presence to reveal to us exactly what the greatest need of the hour is for us in relation to our divine plan. Then we can invoke our sisters and brothers in the multidimensional realms of illumined truth and ask them to intervene 
and to assist us in accomplishing our divine plan. Remember, nothing in our life is happening by accident. Every single thing that enters our sphere of awareness is part of our divine plan that we have agreed to experience in this lifetime in one way or another. It is important for us to be consciously aware that every moment of every day, with every breath we take, we are given the opportunity to fulfill our purpose and reason for being on earth through our thoughts, feelings, words, actions, memories, and beliefs. Our I Am Presence knows exactly how to do this. And with the greatly empowered assistance we are now able to invoke from on high, we are more powerful than we have ever been. It is vitally important for all of us to be open and receptive to the guidance of our intuitive I am presence. So pay attention and know that your time is at hand. Dear one, God bless you. I look forward to being with you again next week.